Hey, hi friend, this is Mukesh Chatwani from learn-automation.com. In this lecture, I will show you how you can download Postman and how you can install Postman in your local system. Okay, so first of all, let me start uh, with an incognito window. Let me start with Google and I will search for Postman. So you can see the first site postman.com. Just click on this. And just a small information guys. So earlier we also had Postman as a Chrome plugin which they have deprecated now. So I would also recommend you to directly start Postman as a app, okay, not as a Chrome extension. So if you can see it's a collaboration platform for API development and you can see this option called download the app. So depends on your operating system, okay, it will automatically detect which version or which operating system you're using. For me, it automatically detected that I'm using Windows, but in case if you're working with Mac and Linux, you can click on the respective links and you can continue. So before uh, downloading this part, I just want to highlight two, two other sections. One is release note, which will give you clear information about the latest development which they have done in the recent uh, time. Okay, so you can see what changes they have done in the latest version and you will get the complete history. So the one which we are going to use right now is 7.21.2, okay, which is this one and what kind of roadmap they have, what kind of features you can expect in future, you will get everything from their roadmap. So whenever you have time, go, please go with this. It will give you a high level of picture what Postman is planning for future. So let's quickly start. I'm using Windows 64, but right now, so I will click on Windows 64. It will download a small exe file. So I will wait for the download and once it is done, I will resume the recording. So this downloading is done. I have uh, copy pasted from my download directory to a new folder called Postman. And let me quickly install this Postman. So it will take few minutes or second depends on the machine. Okay. And uh, it will ask you to register. So let's wait for the registration window. So it will start. It will take few minutes. It will do some basic checks. And within a few minutes, you will see a welcome window or registration window. Okay, so guys, once it is uh, up and running, you will get this kind of window. So it will ask you to create account. And if you don't want to create account, you can see here, uh, you can directly sign in through your email as well. So right now I have created a fresh account, a fresh email account. So I will create a fresh account and I will show you how how does it work? So let me create, uh, let me enter the email. So the email which I have created one for this is new man YouTube at the rate learn hyphen information.com or maybe I can copy directly from here. Okay. Username I will keep Mukesh uh, postman password. I will give some password which I can remember easily. Okay, and I will click on I agree to terms and terms of use. Keep me signed and create an account. Okay, it says username already exists. That's fine. So let me give again. Let me save this username because I have multiple username right now. So let me create an account. Okay, it will send one confirmation link so that I will be verifying. It says, please enter your name. So I will give my name is Mukesh Otwani. What kind of role is closest to yours? I will keep as a quality engineer. How do you plan to use Postman? I will say API documentation, debugging, monitoring, automation, testing, designing, mocking API, and finally publishing the API. Select everything. In case if you want to put some profile picture, feel free to do that. Let me continue. And now this option is completely optional but I would recommend you to give some name. So right now I'm going to set up a team name. So this team name, I will say learn automation YouTube team. Okay. And say for said, I will also keep this in my document, click on continue. And that's what you need to do. You just need to put some basic things and you're good to go. Now, it is also asking you if you have a team, if you want to invite other people from your team, you can do that. Right now, I'm not going to invite. 
So either you can uh, enter their email address or you can copy this link and you can share with the team members. The moment they will click on this link, they will be joined automatically to your team. We will be discussing this, this topic once we move forward. For the time being, I will click on maybe later because later on anyways, we have to do this team collaboration part. So guys, this is the latest uh, UI which you will get. Okay. And uh, let me also see if we get any emails. Yes. So this is the email you will get from the postman once you create your account. So just go ahead and validate your account. Okay, so I will click on validating so that in future we should not get any kind of issue from the postman. And once it is done, it will say thank you and now you are good to go. Click on head to your profile and it will redirect you to your account. So again, I will enter the email and the password. The password which one are uh, the one which I have created just now. And let's see now you can see it is okay. Let me click on save. And yes, we are done. Perfect. Okay, so once you log into your dashboard, okay, just click on this postman icon and you can see this is your dashboard. We'll talk about this dashboard, okay, in detail. By default, you can see one workspace got created for you and you can also see some couple of other details. Okay, these are the templates APIs. We'll discuss about this one by one. So this is how you can download and install. So in the next video, we'll discuss about this UI and what kind of features you can access from their dashboard.